a circle is one of the most basic objects you can create. There are several different methods you can use to create circles. The two-point method lets you specify any two points to define the diameter of the circle, whereas the three-point method lets you create a circle that passes through three points. Let's look first at an example of a two-point circle. Notice that you can select this method by expanding the Circle Split button in the Draw panel on the Home ribbon. Note that you could also simply start the Circle command and then specify the two-point option by clicking the 2P option in the command line, typing 2P, right-clicking and choosing the two-point option from the shortcut menu, or by pressing the down arrow key and then selecting the option from a list. When you choose this option, the program prompts you to specify the first endpoint of the circle's diameter. Click to select a point. The command then prompts you to specify the second endpoint of the circle's diameter, and as you move the cursor, you can see the diameter of the circle in the drawing window. The first point you picked is at one end of that diameter, and the other end of the diameter is attached to the cursor. The program shows you the length of the diameter line. Also note that you can specify the angle of the diameter line. Remember that east or 3 o'clock is the zero angle, and angles increase in a counterclockwise direction. So at this point you can either pick the other end of the diameter, or press the Tab key to cycle between the length and angle values. To lock the diameter line at an angle of 45 degrees, press Tab until that field is active, then type 45, and then press the Tab key to switch back to the diameter value. Notice that the angle is now locked but you can continue to move the cursor to drag the length of the diameter. You can then type in the diameter. Type 3 and press Enter. A three-point circle lets you create a circle by specifying three points. The resulting circle will pass through those three points. Start the command pick the first point, and then pick the second point. Notice that when you go to pick the third point, you can see the resulting circle. As you move the cursor, the size of the circle changes. The circle continues to pass through the first two points, but the resulting circle changes as you prepare to select the third point. When you click to pick the third point, the circle is created. Note that after you create the circles, if you select them, grips are displayed at their center points and quadrant points. Even though these circles were not defined based on their center points, once you create them, the properties of all circles include the center point and radius. It does not matter how they were created. Regardless of the method you used, they are all the same type of circle object.